Hello everyone, happy Friday and welcome to tonight's stream. I hope that you all had an amazing day and that you are ready for the weekend. I know I am um, and I am very excited to give this game another chance. <laughs> I've been looking forward to it for a really long time and uh, it got cut short on Wednesday and I wasn't able to actually accomplish anything in the game. So I shifted my schedule around a little bit. Um, we're going to get into it tonight. We're going to do a full three hour stream. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> And we're going to actually try to accomplish something in the game. Um, I did jump in and start a new save just because I definitely was not uh, like focused on what was happening last time. Um, and I also forgot to exit the game because I pretty much ended stream and then immediately like got up and walked away. So I didn't actually quit the game. <laughs> it went on for like over a day. Um of just running in the background. So there's that. So I started a new game. I got through the whole ship burning situation and stopped right when we wash up on shore. So we're going to pick up from there and do the whole like figure out how to live part with full focus <laughs> and ability to breathe. <laughs> That's the plan. That's where we're at. That's why there's two save files here. Before I click that and load in though, let me just say hello to everybody. Uh, Brynn is here. Pi, we've got Chrissy, Lily, Sarah, Ricky. Good to see you guys. Hope you are well. Peter is here. Rabbit, good to see you. We've got Kevin. Eddie's here. Chill, good to see you. Let's see. Did I say Eddie? I think I did. <laughs> I'm scrolling down. I'm like, wait, crap. <laughs> I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, Lily, good to see you. You get the second hello, I see that. Hey, Bill, drop on, good to see you. Demon King, welcome, thanks for being here. All right, let's see. Russian is here, good to see you. Rachel, welcome, good to see you. And Kflo is here. Erin, welcome, guys. Slubby, good to see you. Yeah, I thought it was a good, <laughs> I thought it was a good thing to, uh, to restart. We're gonna start fresh. It looked from the couple minutes and what I remember that it's it's basically the same map as from the the test game, the play test. Um, so I have at least a vague idea of where I'm at, which is, you know, a lot for me. OK, so we just landed. This is where we washed up. I chose the same items. I took a bag, the iron flint and the axe. Everything is the same. We're just focused. So we've got to grab our green coconut. That was the first thing. Okay, so now we unlocked the blueprint for that. Let's go get out of the sun because it is sunny. I'm pretty sure, yeah, burning sun. That's what that symbol in the top is. I also remembered this. I don't know if I, I asked it rhetorically in the last one what fainting did, like what the thing about fainting was. And so if you faint, it's considered a near death and your max health cap is lowered by 10 each time. So that's how this game can kind of get you into a death loop because right now, because of the, the ship crash, our max health is at 90. If I die, our max health is 80, and then 70, and then 60, and then 50. And so it gets harder and harder to stay alive until you can get your health back up. Um, yeah, so... And if I remember, there's something about, yeah, the health penalty increases each time I fade. Only living water from the fountain of youth can help reduce this health penalty. So basically, like, you've got to find the water from the fountain, and then that will fix it. And from what I remember in the playtest, I, I, I don't know if it's still that way, but we were finding some pieces. Like, we were finding little bo bottles of the fountain water around the island with the lore. So it's possible that, like, we'll find it along the way, if that's the same. Hey, Chuck, good to see you. I'm going to put in a lot of like, you know, qualifying statements because I'm talking about my knowledge of the game from a year ago. And I don't know if it's still that way. So we'll see. Um, OK, so crafting. We've got all these blueprints that we haven't researched. We don't need a fire starter because we've got our flints. It will tell you, too, what you need to research it. So to learn how to make a spear, we need to find a long stick. 
which can be gathered from Jerema Prada and the Terminalia trees. So it will tell you where to find what you're missing to unlock a blueprint, which is really cool. Um, but anyway, let's make our coconut. Hey, old school. <laughs> no, no issues today. Luckily. No, they were pretty quick. It was an anaphylactic reaction to the medication I started. So stop that obviously right away. Got some new meds and I am good. <laughs> Which is ideal. Um, all right. So journal quenching thirst. Okay. So this is all the stuff we found in the uh, ship was in this journal. This is our expedition history. So we can replay all these little things too if we wanted to. I don't, but we could. <laughs> oh, we've got 25 lore pieces of the ancient civilization story. Uh, apparently we can read books. Oh. And then we've got stats. Cool. All right. Well, let's actually um, eat this before I get too far down the rabbit hole. So, space to eat. <laughs> okay, so now we're hungry. Uh, which means finding a shell. We can also take out some of these crabs if I can time it right. I can't. Maybe someday I will. <laughs> Okay, we've got rope. That's handy. Pile of scrap. G to cut down. Four small sticks. Sure. Okay. All right, so now we studied small sticks and we just unlocked a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, all of this is piles of scrap we can break down. That's new. I like that. I'm going to hang out in some shade while I do these things, though. Haha, <laughs> we got the crab. All right, uh, let's see. We have to extract... Oh, crafting. Get the mollusk out. Might as well do it for both. Um, indigestion chance 7%. Well, still really hungry. I'm sick. I've gained a disease status as a result of external influences. There are several types of diseases. Sunburn, flu, wounds, fever, food poisoning, malaria, overheating, and poisoning. Medicine helps prevent disease and keep it from progressing. Sleep and some types of food can also help. Keep an eye on your statuses in the top left corner of the screen to avoid getting serious illnesses. Okay. All right, so we are now ill. <laughs> Eating two raw mollusks off the beach was obviously one mollusk too many. Now, I might go a little bit off tutorial here. Uh, so I want all the things. All right, so I can build a primitive bed. There's a cave that I lived in in the first time I played this. And I think it's probably still there. Because it's the grotto from the map. The little map section we found that was talking about like the grotto is a cave over here. And that's where I set up my base the last time. Um, so I think I'm going to go do that. My favorite Girl Scout cookies are the Samoas. They're so good. There's bad things in the cave, if I recall. Ooh, chicken. Ooh, stones. Gotta grab these stones before I go in the cave. 
Uh, take all the stones. Okay. I've ga gained... Ugh, words. Gained a status effect because of my condition. So I'm guessing I was in the sun too much. Yeah, I've got a sunburn. <clears throat> The grotto's the cave still- yeah, I remember living in the cave. So assuming it's still there, you could cut through somewhere over here. Um, oh, right there. Can we all take a moment to appreciate the fact that I remember this from last June? Only because it's like the little patch of leaves in this big mountain. But I remember that there was a cave here. Alright, there's spiders or scorpions, one or the other. It's probably super dark for you guys. When I get to the other side of this cave, it's less dark. Oh, there they are. It's these scorpions. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. I forgot to actually throw it. There were three, I thought. Were there three? Oh, there it is. Okay. The last thing I need is to add poison on top of my uh, other issues. Okay, there's another one right there. Just one. I think just one. Oh, nope, there's the other one. Oh, there's one right there, too. I didn't even see that one. He started walking, like, right at the right time. They're not hard to kill, which is why, like, even though this is kind of a a bad idea, it's also a an okay idea. Because they're pretty easy to see. So this is the grotto where it lets out to the other side. This is where I settled myself the last time. There's already a campfire here, which is super handy. And there's lore here, which we will look at in a second. I kill both of those at once? No. And in fact, that was dumb because now the alive one is on my axe. <laughs> I made a mistake. Uh. Okay. You know. <laughs> I know, right? Good job. Now I need to remember the long dark catalog of maps. <laughs> can I get... Oh, okay. We can get... We can reach it from that far. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna build my bed over here, I guess. Uh, crafting. Oh, process scorpion venom. What's that do? Ancient primitive medicine for all forms of poisoning. Minor poisoning, poison, severe poisoning, fatal poisoning. Also temporarily protects from disease progression. Cures one to two degrees, disease degrees, restores seven health in 30 minutes. Oh. Oh, cool. So now I can make little cures for myself in case I inevitably end up getting, uh, you know, <laughs> stung by one of these things. Oh, man. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem with throwing weapons. Once they have it, they can use it against you. Where's my bed? Uh, bed of leaves. Oh, smoke signals. I forgot about smoke signals. So this game is very, like, long dark in that you have to get um, a tool and draw out the map um, from, like, a, a high point. So to get around the map and to mark areas that you want to remember, you can set up smoke signals. 
so it will just send a colored stream of smoke up into the air as like a beacon to where you want to be. Hot box made of branches. All right, we're going to make the bed of leaves. Kuzco's poison. <laughs> uh, build. Okay. Now we need to sleep. Um, 11 hours. Chance of treating all maladies 50% were protected from wind and water. Sure. Okay. All right, now it wants me to make a stone axe, which is a little bit silly because I already have an iron axe, but we're going to do it. But first, let's do the... Uh, Let's do the lore that's shiny on the wall. Map of Island Hope. Ponce de Leon marked the approximate location of two water sources on the map. The coastal grotto and the place where he lost his spyglass. The caption says that the spyglass remained in the place where fireflies are visible at night. Location, the Island of Hope. Okay, so this is the grotto. This is where we are. And then this is the spyglass. And then these are the water sources. These are, you know, wolf looking things, if I remember correctly. Uh, bad things. I never made it to the water in the game that I played the last time. I never actually made it to any of these points of reference. I died. So, <laughs> you know, I guess that's kind of the goal. I think this might always... It's not glowing anymore, at least. Uh, Ponce's letter. Uh. Our captain, Juan Ponce de Leon, also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. The timing of this doesn't make any sense. This is so quiet. He located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter. Then he started to act quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. During another trip, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of I'm our- I'm gonna talk over this because we can't hear it anyway. It- The captain left this note, then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a rush to help his crew. How long were we unconscious? Quickly, he forgot his spyglass on the other side of the island. If I find it, I will be able to look around the island. All right, that wasn't anything we didn't know from reading the note. Um, but how long were we unconscious? For him to have landed here, explored the island, set himself up, heard cannon shots, and then left the island, and then we washed up. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, it doesn't help that the narrator's using an overly gravelly voice. No, no, it doesn't. I'll read that in a second. Did I ever put the settings up higher again? Yeah, see, they're still... I wish that... Let's try effects, maybe? I don't want the rest of this to be so loud that it's ridiculous. You know what? Let's do it anyway. I can always turn things down again if it gets crazy, but so far we're fine. Let me know if it suddenly starts blowing out your eardrums. Uh, now I need to go back and read that letter. <laughs> uh, Ponce's letter. Here we go. To anyone who reads this, I am Juan Ponce de Leon, head of the expedition studying these islands. I barely survived the shipwreck and arrived here on a lifeboat. I'm leaving this note in case someone on my crew also survived. I've spent a few days investigating this island and I'm leaving a rough map and my notes about the island here, in this grotto. The island is uninhabited, but is full of wild birds and animals, so be careful. I found ruins and other traces of an ancient civilization. Uh... This morning I was exploring a bay to the east and heard distant cannon fire. This must be a signal from one of our ships. Sounds like it's close enough to the islands. My rescue boat is still intact 
so I will go there immediately and find the survivors. P.S. Just before sailing, I noticed that I forgot my spyglass at the place where I heard the cannon fire. You can look for it. It's in a conspicuous place with many fireflies. If you find it, I recommend that you take a good look around in clear weather before you go after me. The ancient observatory at the top of the mountain will be the perfect place to do this. It's easy to find. A white symbol above it is visible from almost everywhere. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, see, that was way too loud. <laughs> that was way too loud. Let's, let's go to 80. Across the board. 80 feels good. I don't know. We'll get it. <laughs> All right. Uh, note about living water. I'm leaving this bottle of the living water so that the person who finds it can restore their health if they're shipwrecks. Good luck to you, friends. Okay, so now we have that living water, which brings our health back up to 100 if we need it to. Uh, let's make our stone axe. Uh, tools. Stone axe. Okay. Harvest a long stick. I just want me to go back out the cave. Okay, we're going to come through and just watch carefully in case uh, the scorpions are back. You don't remember at what rate they respawn through here. I definitely cut the corner a little bit. Like, last time I set up on the beach, and I did all the beach things, and then I found this cave, and I had to move myself into it, so... I kind of jumped ahead by coming to the cave right from the start, just so I didn't make two beds. Eh. It's okay. Nothing had respawned. We're fine. I'm not sure how the water works. That's my interpretation of it. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Living water. Health plus 60. Recovery plus 50. Bottle of water from the Fountain of Youth. When used, it reduces the health penalty imposed by the near-death status. So I guess it makes sense to save it till this is below 50? That's how I'm interpreting that. Chicken. We're leveling up in skills, too. So we've got, like, concentration skill, disease resistance, thirst control, better sleep, learning, crafting, fire starting, cooking, skinning, throwing, shooting, strength, mapping, sailing, fishing, repairing, medicine, gathering. So there's all kinds of skills. Survival tasks. Complete survival tasks to get perk points. Spend points to improve survival abilities. Oh. I don't remember that. So if we make a palm juice collector, then we'll get points. Make a flint. Make a coconut rainwater collector. The rain is super loud, huh? That would be environment. Did that do anything? That doesn't seem any different. Maybe it's an effect. Oh, my stomach ache is gone. Oh, good. All right, so this is the tree I need. Uh, for four long sticks.
It needs to be 69. <laughs> It, right? Nothing that we just did seemed like it sounded any different. Maybe I just need to make master sound. 69. Hey, you wander! Thanks for popping in during your break. I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, see, that sounds just as loud. Let's try... that even do anything? I didn't hit save. I was like, wait, I don't think that did anything. <laughs> hey, Luna's good to see you. Uh, craft a wooden spear. Craft a wooden harpoon, wooden spear. Okay. Um, wooden spear. We're going to put that on number two. Okay, we only got two quick spots right now. Oh, crouch and sneak up on a crab. All right. Throwing my axe worked just fine, but we'll go find a crab. I was going to shoot the chicken, but the game is requiring me to go find a crab. <laughs> okay, we're going to be sneaky. Can I throw my spear? I totally can. Ah. Build a campfire. Alright, well we're going back to our cave for that. Because there's already a campfire there that's protected from the rain. Probably watch my stamina better. Now the sun's out. What was that sound? It sounded like a chicken. Where's the chicken? There's the ch Oh, he saw me. <laughs> oh! What happened to this chicken? I didn't do it, but, uh... Oh, I don't have a suitable cutter. Ooh, I can make a cutter. Cool. Uh, I don't know what killed the chicken, but we harvested it. That plant right there. Right there. Looks interesting. I'm not going to run over there and look at it. We're going to go light a campfire. Okay, watch for scorpions. The chicken did look like a rap chicken a little bit. The way that it was flopped over reminded me of the um, fallout chicken. <laughs> All right, I don't see any scorpions. We have the supplies to make a cure, at least, so if we do happen to get jumped on by a scorpion, we can uh, deal with it. Alright, let's see. Build a campfire. No fuel. Okay, so we add some fuel 
Chance of ignition, 60%. But it'll take us 42 minutes. <laughs> oh, that didn't even count. Okay, so this is one of those games where... Doing this didn't actually count. What am I missing for this? Just a branch. Okay. Craft a spindle fire starter. I don't need that. <laughs> because I have my flint, but okay. Um, let's cook my food before I forget. Not enough fuel to finish. Okay. Crafting. Now can I do it? Yes. How much meat did I have? Three pieces? Yeah, you have to make the things it tells you. No doing things early. A fried egg. Why does a fried egg take two eggs? Um... Steamed leaf bandage. Okay. Um, I'm really hungry, which is why I did that. So now I can eat this. Okay. Kind of thirsty. All right. What do I need for the fire starter? Two small sticks. Very handy that they're right there. Um, the thing about it is that I will need these things because even my flint fire starter and my iron axe have durability and I don't know that I can repair them. If I can, I definitely don't have the ability right now. So I will need these things. Uh, craft a steam leaf bandage. Perfect. See, I'm glad I didn't do the bandage thing. Uh, craft a mapping charcoal. Mapping charcoal. Small stick. Hey, little lady. Good to see you. I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, I played the playtest of it, though, last year for a couple of hours, and I really liked it then. Um, so, so far, I'm enjoying it just as much. I really am. The character does have creepy size, yeah. <laughs> the size are very weird, the noises it makes. <laughs> All right. Um, find a cartographer tree. What does that mean? Now I need to find a tall tree to see more territory for mapping. Some trees on the island are tall enough. I'll use one of them. Oh, right. You can climb the trees. Find a rope. Okay. <laughs> See, flashback to last June. Uh, this is where it all fell apart for me. I had to go find a big tree. And I found one. And then I died because I fell out of it. So. It wasn't great. Wasn't ideal. Um, I need coconuts. I have some. Oh, but my inventory's full. What did it take to make the storage box? Six small sticks and a long stick. Four small sticks. Two. Four small sticks. Okay, now can I craft a box? be super convenient to store some of my stuff. I'll put it here under the... Um... Rotate. Got it. Um... 
Yay! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you fall right out of the tree. You've fallen out of every tree you've ever climbed? Yeah, I have not had good luck with tree climbing either. Oh, what's that? That weather symbol. Maybe it means it's cloudy. Okay, um, so container ooh, has a lot of spots. Holds up to 40 pounds. Um, I'm gonna put away my nine scorpions. I'll put away my feathers, my fire starter, um, the egg. I'm gonna put down the massive stone because that's pretty heavy. I'll keep my stone cutter. Um, the long stick away, I guess. All right, so that way my inventory's got some space in it before I set out because I need to craft up some drinking coconuts. I'm thirsty. There we go. All right, now we're in decent shape. Let's go find a cartographer tree and try not to fall out of it. Do I have a boulder holder? <laughs> I wish I could see myself in third person. This would be really cool in a third person view. Alright, so I think that big tree is what it's pointing to there. an eye out for the little badger dog things. <laughs> you double dog dare me to fall out of the tree? <laughs> now that you want me to fall out of the tree, I probably won't, but what's this? Chamomile. Chamomile flowers. Okay. We got a recipe for that. What was it? Chamomile juice. Oh, indigestion. Stomach ache, mild indigestion, food poisoning. Okay. So those flat leaves are going to be really handy. We need them for all of the po uh, potions, all of the healing things so far. Climb up the cartographer tree. Yeah. Okay, don't fall from the... Come on. A great place for mapping. <laughs> um, mapping... Mapping charcoal. Mapping range 226. It'll take us three hours to do this. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was like the whole thing. Okay. Chamomile. Long sticks. Short-eared dogs. Uh, tobacco. Hibiscus. Eucalyptus. Peccaries. Grabs, date palms, eucalyptus. That's a, oh, I thought that said llama. <laughs> it says liana. I thought it said llama. Uh, boar, hibiscus. The boar is what killed me. The boar is what officially ended my playthrough the last time I did this. Chickens. All right, that's cool. It shows you a lot of stuff. Uh... 
Now you can follow the story or explore the world on your own. Forgotten spyglass. Uh, reach location near the bay. Alright, that's this. We could go out and around the coast. From what I remember, there's birds. There are birds that will, uh... dive bomb you from above and they're really hard to kill because they're birds. Um, so that was rough, but I never did it. Let's try to do it. So we're right here. Like that's the... Horn on going through. Like, this looks shorter. So it feels like maybe... Maybe around. This way. I don't know. It seems a longer route, but also, like, that's gotta be for a reason. Right? Like... could probably stay in the shade better, if nothing else. There's some ruin-looking stuff over there. I guess let's just gather resources and make our way in that direction. What's this? Sage. Sage flowers. Okay. You can click on it too and it'll say like... Uh, oh, this one says... Oh yeah, 14 days. Restored in 14 days. There's red plants down here. These look pokey. Yeah, this has like thorns. Six small sticks. Okay. There's a chicken. I think he's complaining about the sun. Butterflies. Nettle. No resources. Oh. It will not grow back if you cut it down. Well, why does it exist? You don't get any resources? Huh. Weird. Sounded like one of those little creatures. Oh, it is. Oh, no, I, I threw my spear. Ah. All right, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it, we had a bit of a rough start there. Like, you know, maybe don't throw the spear, but... We harvested it. <laughs> Alright, there's another one right here. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Looks like fruit. Orange tree. Well, that's fun. Those must be good, right? Three food, 11 water. Cool, now we're not thirsty at all anymore. It is like a large angry squirrel. squirrel. I don't know if this is even remotely the right way. There's something in that tree. Oh, bird. There's something in that tree over there that looked like maybe coconuts? One of the things said date, date fruits or something. Okay. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't even that big of a fall! Okay, fall damage is a big thing. Got it. I feel like I took an unfortunate amount of damage. It was only three, but still. Like, that wasn't that big of a fall. What's that? Oh! 
It's a snake. That's what it is. It's a snake. Guys, I thought it was like, I don't even know what I thought it was. Not a snake. <laughs> I literally was just like, oh, what's this thing? Can we touch it? And then it jumped at me. Okay, we're good. There, It's the snake. <laughs> I scared Porthos. I'm sorry, Porthos. That was very startling. Is that a turtle? Or is it a crab? It looks huge. Oh, it's one of those creatures. It is a turtle. Oh, I missed this one. Okay, maybe I wait for it to turn on me instead of chasing it, but chasing it's better. I didn't know there were turtles. I think we did get bit. Um, I'm only sunburned, though. We didn't get, like, poisoned. Does the turtle hurt me? Like a tortoise. Oh, no, he runs away. Bye, turtle. We're not going to kill the turtle. Oh. You could chuck stuff at it, too. This is, if I recall... A fi so, our home is right over there. That thing sticking up in the middle right past the rocks, those are whale bones. That's our cave. So we just went around the mountain and came out at this beach. <laughs> that turtle's going to be our dinner soon. So there's a fishing spot. If we had a rod and bait, we could sit here and fish. We don't have those things, but we could do it. All right, so I guess following the beach is going to be the way to do it. Um, but since we're almost home, I'm going to go home. It's getting dark. I know, right? Fishing. <laughs> Hopefully it's got a good fishing mechanic, but I'm not going to hold my breath. All right, that's one of those dog things. I think this is like a whale skeleton. Hey, Tina, good to see you. Yeah, it is. It's a whale skeleton. Ooh, shiny. What are you? Ancient hunting drawing. An ancient tablet with drawings. The hunting process is depicted here. The natives crouch and sneak up on animals, and it seems that the animals do not hear them. The hunters approach the animals from behind. They hide behind trees and stones or come from the top of hills, and the animals do not notice them. Okay. Cool. I don't know what that had to do with a giant whale, but... I'm going to pick up the coconuts. Uh, you're not a coconut. You're a rock. I'll take this anyway. Leaves. What is this? Puffball mushrooms. Okay. What's this? Jatoba gum. I don't know what that's for. Uh, sticks. Clean up our space. What do we get from this one? Just more sticks? Okay, we'll leave that. Alright, uh, what do I have on me? This is almost spoiled, so I'm gonna eat it. These... Best use as an ingredient. Oh, okay, we can roast it. Got it. Oh, I'm overweight. 
Shocking. <laughs> Shocking that I am overweight. All right, let's see. Let's put the Jatoba gum away, because I don't know what the deal is with that. We'll put the snake tails away. All our flowers away. Uh, sure. What else is so heavy? It's probably the coconuts, right? I mean, it might be the three short-eared dogs. <laughs> Put them in there. If they spoil, they spoil. I feel like cooking them will make them go bad faster. Maybe not, but that's the impression that I have right now. I know, I don't really want to uh, eat it. Maybe the gum is sticky to crap things? Maybe it could be. Okay. Let's head out and around the beach and see what we can do. It's fire fuel? That would make sense too. It's right there next to that fire. Alright, we're gonna keep an eye out for... Uh, <laughs> The birds. The birds. I run. I don't know what I'm saving my stamina for. Fighting stuff, probably, but. We'll be fine. Alright, see, this is where we were, so we, we didn't get that far. There's the turtle. There's coconuts in that tree. We can swim out. We could. I don't want to, but we could. It's an option. We're not going to do it. <laughs> More coconuts. Oh no, you're lagging, Wander. I don't think I stood still for very long. I might have. So far, so good. Not to jinx it. The good thing about this, too, is we can stay in the shade. Which is nice. There's something up there. If it's what I'm thinking, it's the limit of where I've been. There's no shortage of coconuts. Like, there's a lot of coconuts. These are green ones, ripe ones. I'm gonna be overweight, which is why I'm leaving those behind. Like, I hate to leave food behind, but I'm not actually hungry or thirsty at the moment. That's just chamomile. Um, and there is a weight restriction. A hat would be nice. Can I make a clothing? Crest sage does what? Fever. Okay. Oh yeah, we totally can! Leaf sandals, a portable box. Adds 10 units of carrying weight. But if I remember correctly, this takes the place of our backpack. Increases sun protection. Leaf cape. Leaf skirt. Totally forgot about clothes. All right, we'll harvest them off that next palm tree over there. Thank you, guys. I completely forgot, so you said that. Okay, that's the fishing spot. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's sunny. Bird. Um... 
All right, so... Oh, what was this? Dried mushrooms. Yuck. Uh, so we can make the leaf cape. Does that put it on me automatically? Yes. Okay, so 25% sun protection. Uh, decreasing wound chance 1%, 1% decrease in poison. And then we need the other kind of tree to get the other ones. We need like the broad leaves, not the narrow leaves. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, this is the limit of the exploration <laughs> that I made it to. It's a big old, like, ancient... Well, you'll see. Let's go look. They make it real hard to miss. <laughs> Just a giant, shiny thing. Oh, no! <laughs> That was a non-answer. Wait, I lost track. Does 8-Ball think I'm going to make it or no? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Song of the Punishment of the Gifted. When death had taken the last of the highest ones, the great hunt ended. But the families and the loved ones of highest ones who were gifted longevity face an even worse fate than death in battle. The day after the end of the hunt, all the gifted ones were brought to a high cliff above the deep sea on the island of the birds. One by one, the gifted were brought to a cliff and fed the poison of a swamp frog, which immobilized them. And those who drank were thrown paralyzed to the bottom of the sea to drown. At the end of the day, there were no gifted left alive and their bones rest at the bottom of the sea. The race of immortals was destroyed forever and only mortals dying of disease remained on the islands. I love that that's number 23. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, that time eight ball was clear that I didn't. Oh, thanks, little lady. We jumped right to 23, so we're missing some other stuff here, but... I guess the point of this is they killed the people that were gifted. And immortal. So that's the thing. Aww. If we go look, and if I recall correctly, I'm going to believe Little Lady over 8-Ball too. <laughs> Piece of the Natives map. You've learned a new way to open up the next region. Open the map view. Wait, what? Open the map view. Bird region. All right, that's where we are. World map. Oh. So yeah, it's a really big map. Interesting. <laughs> I was using my finger quotes around the words gifted. <laughs> Yeah, it said that there's 15 maps total. Or 15 islands. Oh, look, that's like a face. Look, see, that's all their bodies. Oh, okay. Uh, I, okay, good. I was like, I wasn't trying to fall off. <laughs> oh, man. That was one of the biggest things I noticed in the description. In the playtest, there was just this one island. I mean, I think there was like a little offset to it that you could get to, but not like whole other regions of the map. So let's uh, swim down here. I thought I was going to fall off too. I don't know if we would have been okay because we would have gone into the water. Ha, ah, here we go. Snake po potion. I don't know what we need that for. I 
I think I did fall off the last time, but I can't remember if I died or not. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that last time I purposely jumped off, but I don't remember if I survived it. All right, I don't think there was anything else interesting here then. I thought there was a fountain water, but I guess that wouldn't really make sense in the context of all the dead bodies. I think about it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we still have a long way to go. I think I jumped for science, but I don't remember the results. <laughs> Bird. Yeah, see, this is where we were. This was that cartographer's tree. And we're way over here. But there's definitely no other tree. I might be able to map it anyway, and I just wouldn't be as good because I wasn't as high. Vertically. <laughs> so far, so good. There's the bird. I remember if I can fight the bird. can't remember if the bird thing was like impossible uh okay so we just have to follow the coast until the coast like ends and like drastically turns left hide from that bird Yeah, I don't know what's that way. I don't need all these shells. Even if I find another cartography tree, I don't think we have another rope. We never did stumble upon a different rope. Is that another fishing spot? Hmm. Angry squirrel over there. It is a fishing spot. Look how far we can swim. Can I get over there? Are there sharks? <laughs> I don't remember if there's sharks. And we fell in. Okay. That's fine. We'll level up our swimming skill. I don't think there were sharks. I think it was just drowning that was an issue. It's early access, though, so there could still be sharks at any moment. More turtles. Well, a turtle. Those are crabs. Hello, turtle. <laughs> Mega Bruce 2.0 confirmed for all water having survival games going forward. Getting our skill points up. Another fishing spot. We're a little sunburned. I can't tell if the little... Like, there's something sticking out of the water over there, and I can't tell if it's a graphical thing or if it is a stick. 
Or like a mask. Like, is there something interesting? That's an interesting pile of sticks right there. That I'm going to ignore because I don't want to, uh... I want to die. We're on a mission. Oh, more ruins. I feel remarkably unprepared for this. Like, I didn't really... We didn't pack for this adventure. I didn't really prepare for it. We just kind of ran off, which in a survival game... Oh, look, yeah, there's a cartography tree here. With an angry squirrel under it. But I don't have rope. I think you need the liana vines to make rope. Which, if I recall, live with the angry boar. I'm going to be fighting boar. I need a bow, I think. But it's a bummer, because it would be really nice to be able to do this. Yeah, I don't have any rope. And I think... Uh... Equipment... We have a lot of, like, machines to research. Rope. Yeah. Yep. Banyans and some bushes. So we need to find... And we saw that over here um where did i see one of these was liana big branch cloudy i thought i saw one of these was oh yeah right here over here was a little bit of it Huh. Okay. We got lucky with our first piece. It'd be really handy if there was just a piece of rope washed up on the shore. I would love some context about where we are at. It might be that I chose to play on easy mode this time. I honestly can't say, but the fact that the birds are leaving me alone is a major difference. <laughs> a major difference compared to the last time. Because I couldn't get anything done with the amount of times the birds were killing me. And now we're kind of good. Oh, wait. Reach the location near the bay? <sighs> now we need to wait for nighttime and find the place where the fireflies fly. That should be near the spyglass. T to pass time. And okay, now it's nighttime. Ooh, fireflies. We were literally right next to it. Hey, there it is. View from the mountain. Oh, cool. Get to the mountain. We found it. <laughs> uh, the spyglass will help me look around the Island of Hope. I should reach the Indian Observatory. Better to do it during the day and in good weather. Otherwise, I would not see anything. There has to be a passage up into the mountain. Somehow the natives were able to reach very high points there. Um... Oh, hey, why you? Iliad is in the... It's in a building in the forest. Okay. Cool. Thank you. This is way less scary. Like, I honestly... Thought I was going to die from the birds. And that hasn't happened. So, like, I'm feeling pretty good about this. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about this. I want to go see what that is. But there is actually a bird... Like above it, so 
you know, this might be the end, but... I mean, for science, right? We only live once. Oh, it's a chicken. Nettles. Angry squirrel. I really want to fight this thing, but I feel like I have to. Ooh, headshot. Okay. Rainy and nighttime, maybe not my best move for this, but what is it? I'll get up there. Oh, snake. This time I see that it's a snake. Oh, how can you bite me when I can't even stab it? That's not fair. Oh no! Uh oh. Does this have a roof? Oh, okay. I mean, it doesn't have a roof, but the bird comes in the door. <laughs> I'm being hunted. The dramatic music stopped. Obsidian shard. Feather. Bones. That gun stuff. Piece of the natives map. Bone. Wall carving. Ooh, Liana. Oh, yay. Does that mean I can make a rope? Hold on. Does that mean I can make a rope? Because then I can go right back to that tree. I totally can. I found the bird, all right. Wall carving piece. I picked up a wall carving piece. Was there another one? Oh yeah, it looks like there's four. Yeah, there are five. Do I have, how many do I have? None? Oh, I have two. He no, that's pieces of the native's map. I thought I picked up a wool carving piece. I guess I didn't. I'm confusing it with the map. Okay. Um, let's wait till morning. I could put down a bed or I could sleep on the ground. My health wouldn't regen, but I'm pretty healthy anyway, so... Let's do it. Still raining. Ooh, wall carving piece three. Okay, there's a piece right there. Okay. So we put in one piece. The others are probably like all over the place, I'm guessing. Maybe not, but it would make sense to me that they'd be like, whoa, hello, bird. <laughs> Where's he going to come from? I got distracted. Okay. He like one hit and then ran away. Ooh, what's this? 
really? I love scrap bones. Ah! Uh, I just stop looking at stuff. That's when they get me. Okay, this time I'm watching the bird. Oh no, I did it too soon. Okay. We're good. What's this? Oh, it's a bird's nest. Worms? Ooh. I mean, now the birds are really going to hate me if they didn't already. Okay, so we found another piece of the carving. Let's go to the tree. Let's go to the tree and do our map. Oh, chickens. You okay, chicken? <laughs> yeah, I bet the worms are for the fishing. That's my guess, too. Okay, here we go. We have to make more map stuff after this, too. Because this was our last piece of map charcoal. Interesting sight. Okay. Yeah, so this is where we're at relative to the two trees. Chamomile, Platonia, date palms, long sticks, harpy. Is that a bird's nest? Yeah, it is a bird's nest. Interesting sight. Okay. Orange trees, sage. All right, cool. down the ladder. Probably like eat and drink. I haven't really been paying attention to that. Um, eat that. And then we'll make a coconut. I will drink the coconuts. Uh, okay, that was faster. So this time, instead of going to crafting, I clicked on it, and you can hit F for blueprints, and it brings you right to the blueprint you can make with the coconut. That was faster. Not by, like, a significant amount, but, you know, every little bit helps. <laughs> Alright, so we have one more of these tablet things that we picked up. Let's go put it in the thing. Did that guy see me? Looks like he did. Maybe not. Oh, chickens. <laughs> I go back up the ladder and fly. All I need is a happy thought. <laughs> Keep an eye out for birds. Oh, these are the leaves I need. That just scared me. It's the dead snake. Alright, so now I just need two more of these. Oh, the, the bird's nest at the top of the tree? No, I didn't. I just did this bird's nest on the ground. I didn't do the one at the top of the tree. See the bird's shadow, but not the bird. Bird's nest over there. Get too distracted. There's the bird. 
Oh, there's a path there. That path goes up there. I wonder if that's where I'm supposed to be going. Huh. Worth a shot. The other two tablet pieces are close to here. Okay. Let me look around before I go running up a path then. I hear the little squirrel creature. Hmm. You watched Fox get it last night. I think I'm missing something to make a bow. Oh no, I guess I can make a weak bow if I make rope. And then arrows take six stones, feathers, obsidian. So I would need two rope, at least. I can only make one right now. Not too bad, though. This was the sage, right? Yeah. I don't actually need that. Coming for me? Did you guys hear, like, the drum music? Two of those dogs right there. I don't know if that path is what I need up the mountain. Just happened to notice it from the angle that we were at. Yeah, there's no rush. I don't have to do it right now. Here are you. Go to the tall tree to open the map. Well, I went to the tree. It showed one more piece, but just where I grabbed it. Aw, that's awesome, little lady. Welcome back. Let's try to go up the path and see what happens. Worst case, I die. The important thing here, too, is that I'm not really carrying anything too exciting. So if I do die and I lose my stuff, is it really that big of a loss? Climb to the white sign. Okay, so this was what it wanted from the mountain. Are you attacking me? No? You're good? Okay. We're good with the bird. Climb to the white sign. Whoa! Birds like flying straight up into the air. No? One attack and then you're done? Okay. Huh. Ooh, ooh, ouch. Okay. Can I cut them down? Oh yeah, G. No, even that didn't. Oh, no tool durability. Okay. That did it. Okay, I carved the tiniest little path through. 
Ooh, what's this? Ancient monument. One perk point obtained. Song of the Great Thirst. Miraculous was the water of the fountain, gained by the four tribes, but the fountain was not infinite. Dozens of stormbreakers were going back and forth to Bimini, but there was not enough water for everyone who desired it. And each boat returning from the island was greeted by hundreds of stretched hands, and many of those who desired the potion were worthy of it, but could not get even one sip. And when one person took the potion, a dozen more asked, why not me? And when one person prolonged his youth, a dozen more asked again, why not me? And the elders saw that seeds of discord were being sown and that trouble awaits that there is so much envy in the hearts of men. Okay. Can I take this pot? Oh, I can. Raw clay pot. Okay. Oh no, I'm too heavy to move! <laughs> Guys, I've reached peak encumbrance. I can't move. Okay. Uh... I feel like the clay pot is important. How much does a harpy trophy weigh? What do I rate right now? 52 out of 51? Okay. Uh, well, let's eat that. What else can I eat? Technically not much. Fish bones can be gathered. Oh, it's a resource. Okay. I could drop the stones. Stone cutter doesn't weigh very much. Let's make a new stone cutter. Ooh, I could make a stone spear if I had a rope. Right. Okay, that's enough I can move again. So I pick up these bones. Where are you? I hear you, angry squirrel. There it is. Ah! Oh no, I shouldn't have picked up the angry squirrel! Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's not a survival game until your knees buckle from your inventory weight. Exactly. Um, I'm going to need a new spear here in a second, too. I'm going to drop my stone axe. I don't actually need it. A uh, buffalo potion. Okay. That do. This tree has a thing around it. Like a stone ring flexible branch that will make me too heavy we've never come across a flexible branch though so worth it what can I drop instead I mean I guess I don't need all 15 pounds of them Here's four ranks of all diseases. Oh. This is hard, guys. <laughs> oh no, it's not a it's it's a short eared dog, yes. I just call it an angry squirrel. <laughs> it looks like a squirrel. Um let's see. Let's craft the coconuts and eat them. Still way too overweight. 34 small sticks. We'll just keep some. I'm picking some sticks right back up. Uh, it's dark. What time is it? The middle of the night. <laughs> I know, I do need a mobile storage unit and a little hat. <laughs> Where are my silly hat-toting companions when I need one? Oh. 
Ooh, where does this go? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Looks like maybe. I really just have to go home and put all my stuff away. Stone pile. I cannot pick up stones. Uh, it's raining. That that did nothing. <laughs> I figured I'd pass time until daylight so we could see what we were doing, but now it's raining and I still can't see anything. Soap status appeared. Massive stone. We don't have space for that. That's it? This can't be the end. Oh, there's a... log here? Okay. Angry squirrel. Not even gonna pick it up, though, because... Alright, this is more flexible branches. They don't technically need... I know, I need to put the things away. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Like, I'm following a path, but is it a path to nowhere? Or a path to somewhere? Ooh. Uh... Oh, I need a pickaxe. And to make a pickaxe, I need what? Uh, do, do, do. A pickaxe. Fish bone needle. A long handle. Okay, and I can make a long handle, I thought. Resources. Coconut flask. Portable leaf bed. Ooh! Portable leaf. I can make a... Um... Get back the... What's the word I'm looking for here, guys? Sleeping bag. <laughs> Carpentry workbench. Regular workbench. Alright, we probably just need to, um... Yeah, go back. I need to have a handle. I need to research a handle. Can be made from a big branch. But where's the... Where's the thing to craft it? Make rafts? We can make houses? Oh, look, there's way more here. Way more stuff. I'm not hovering over it. Wow, look how many boats there are. Catamaran with a fireplace? Ship repair kits. Rope made of skin. Lovely. That sounds pleasant. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so we might just have to find more stuff, but that's a dead end then. I'm assuming that the white sign is up there. It might not be, but... Whoa, snake! I saw it at the last second. We're down to like half health, too. I need to stop sleeping outside. Alright, let's get back down.
Let's get back down. There's clearly, like, so much more that I need to be doing. Oh, no, that, that's not the path. <laughs> just from a crafting perspective, like, we're running around with, like, just my almost dead spear, and there's so much that can be made and crafted. I know, assuming is bad. I'm trying to go down this way and see if anything terrible happens to me. I feel like it probably will. And I won't know where I am, so that's a whole other issue. This is... Oh, that's steep. I think I made a mistake. Oh no, we're angling down. Big branch. Oh, wait, was that it? Is that what we needed? The big branch unlocked the shovel, the stone hammer, feather and ink, weapons, belts, hut, skin dryer. Yeah, right here, long handle. Okay, now we have a long handle. Does that mean we can make a pickaxe? We can make a pickaxe! Okay, we have a pickaxe. Uh, I'm too heavy again. I can't move! <laughs> I can't move! I'll see you later, Tina! Alright, let's see. What can I put down? I'm only a little bit encumbered. Let's drop a... Let's drop one of these squirrel things because yeah we're right here I won't be able to carry that stone oh god I almost walked off the edge I almost walked right off the edge you want to go up here yeah here we go And then across. And it was down this way? Right? Yeah. It's coming together. We'll have to just throw down the rock as soon as we do it, but... Where are the rocks? Oh! Wait, so I can't get through it? Oh. I thought we were blocked by it, but I guess this is just a mining location to get rocks. So, not, not a path that was keeping me from moving forward. That's unfortunate. I know, a little bit encumbered. Meanwhile, picking up the next stick will cause your knees to rupture. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you volunteer yourself for any Gilgan Island themed adventures I go on? Brave of you. <laughs> we seem to be going back down the mountain instead of up, so I don't think that we're necessarily on the correct path anymore. If such a thing exists. What's this? Nothing? Okay. Looked cool. We've been away from home for like days. <laughs> oh. Angry squirrel dog. 
Oh, I missed. Okay, I got him. I feel like there's an archway over here. Or we can go this way. The rain makes this hard. The sci-fi raft game. Sci-fi raft game. Oh, the the one with the air balloon thing. Oh, snake. Where are we? <laughs> what are these? Oh, bamboo. It would be really cool to explore something like this in real life, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know which one you mean, Pi. Oh, okay. Stupid snakes. Piece of clay. Water storage. Oh, water. Okay. So is this the water place that... It's got to be the water place that was listed on the original map. Now my inventory's full, so we can't actually collect any clay. But when we need to work with clay, this is where we're going to have to come. Hey, Purple, good to see you. I know, right? I need a new island, a better one. Sunken Land looks good, too. Boy Train looks good. Um... I think for, was it Forever Skies is the one I'm thinking of is the name of it. If I'm thinking of it correctly, it was the, the one where you're building like a, I think it's Forever Skies, unless we're thinking of two different ones too. There's so many good games. I can't, there's too many. Forever Skies. Yes. Yes. That one did look really cool. Oh, hello, giant picture. What are you? Bird Potion. Okay. Oh, this was number one. Song of the Birds. Of the four tribes, the tribe of birds was the wisest. They spoke to the winds and read the stars like letters and knew their names. They knew the secrets of storms in the depths of the sea, of tides and currents, rainy seasons and moon cycles. And they did not keep that knowledge to themselves, but always shared it with others. And for this, they earned great respect from every tribe. For there was no safer path in the sea than the one shown by wise men from the tribe of birds. I know the problem is that we do want them all. Can I mark the map? That's a good question. Yes. Place or remove a marker. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you totally can. Oh, I should go back to where the water was. Just right here, right? Oh, wait, go to the edge of the platform. I will try to approach the edge of the platform to look around. I have to do this around midday and in good weather. Otherwise, I'll not see anything. Oh, we did find the spot. What platform? What part of... I didn't, I didn't notice when it... I didn't notice when it triggered over to saying the next piece. Good to see you. Is this the first truly due to issues last time? Oh, the first episode? Technically, I still left this as episode number two. The last time we just did the, um, <laughs> all we managed to do was the, the intro. I'll put water here. 
I see. The edge of the platform. Oh, I think my, yeah, my spear died. Can I make a new one? Uh, oh no, I don't have a long stick. can I get from you? Eucalyptus? Okay. And Shreebark? That's interesting. That's bamboo over there. I walked right through my clean water. Why is it shiny right here? Oh, is it fireflies? Is this what they mean? <laughs> oh, sorry, Leech, I didn't even answer your, your second question. Um, about Skyrim? Skyrim's on tomorrow. I'm trying to knock a couple other things off the, the list first. Uh, so tomorrow is Ark. Did that unlock me a thing? Like, maybe I can make a bamboo thing? I make a bamboo spear? Wooden harpoon. No? Alright. It was worth a try. Bamboo bandolier. Canopy. I mean, we're definitely too heavy now. I thought picking that up, maybe I could make a new spear, but um, turns out, no. So, let's... Drop. Let's drop the bamboo. The birds just here. Hmm. This can't be what we're meant to stand on the edge of. Oops. That was dumb. Because you wouldn't be able to see anything. Maybe up there? Because we need to come in midday in good weather. So we can actually see something. So maybe it's up this way? Over the edge of the platform. I mean, it feels like we're at the top of the world right now. But also, like, we're turning back the wrong way. Like, that goes back down. Yeah, I gotta sleep soon. I really haven't been paying much attention to that. raining again. I might need to build myself a bed. Because we're right here. I don't want to go all the way back down the mountain if we're right here. We have to wait till midday in good weather. I mean, there's this big shiny thing right up here. 
I did get distracted before walking up to whatever that is. What's my... Oh, I have a runny nose. Mild form of flu. There are no serious consequences other than a lowered appetite. It can get worse if left untreated. Stay near the fire. Yeah. Eat, drink, and sleep. Okay. So, yeah. I'm getting ill from this. Okay, yep. This is the thing. Maybe this is what they meant. Oh no, scorpion! Okay, this is it though. Because I got the message about poor visibility. Aha, here we go. We did it! What are we looking for? Did we see what we were looking for? <laughs> okay, build a sea vessel, build a dock. New goal, lonely rock. Uh, using the spyglass, I noticed a large rock a few dozen miles to the north. I cannot get there by swimming. I should build a primitive vessel and try to sail to the rock. Perhaps from this rock, I will see nearby islands on which there may be other survivors. Build a vessel, build a dock. I can build a dock for my vessel. It will allow me to moor my vessel and use the fast travel option to come back to this dock. Fun. Ah, okay. Cool. The docks thing is cool. All right, so now that's what we need to be doing. We figured it out. That right there is where we were with the tablet thingy. I can see it. So all of this we've never been through. Home is that way. Now we have to get down from here. Now we have to go home. Ancient observatory drawing. This collection of buildings resembles an ancient observatory. It looks like the astrologer watched the sky from different locations and marked the coordinates of stars using the observation arches located on the islands. Oh. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, let's see. How do we get down? Preferably without dying. Then we need to regroup. Hey, Brant, good to see you. Oh, look, stars. Star charts. Shiny. Piece of natives map. Okay. This is not the way home. But again, I'm right here. What are you? Puffball mushrooms. Gross. Is this a skeleton? Totally is a skeleton. Ooh, a torch. Dead Spaniard map. A map with blurred inscriptions in Spanish. The site of some kind of camp is marked here. It looks like the Spaniards were already here long before us. Oh, this is in that swampy section. This is where I died the last time. I didn't know there was a map to it or a dead guy, but I wandered into it by accident and died to a boar. All right, we gotta get home. We gotta settle up our storage. I gotta make some crafting stations. We just need better stuff in general. Okay, we can't easily get through this. I mean, I guess I can maybe power through it right here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, now we have a torch. 
Jumping down this mountain in real life would be, like, not a good idea. That's how you go tumbling down mountains. I'm just keeping an eye out for a large stick. I don't have anything to protect myself. I mean, my axe does okay, but it's not the best against things like birds. Yep, don't jump down there. Or there. The person that wrote the map sounds like the people in Valheim in the beginning. Yeah, I can see that. Oh! Snake. Crap. Or poisoned. Okay. We just gotta get back to the cave. We need to be back at the cave. Hey, Michael, good to see you. This is where I I talk about this a lot when I'm talking about gaming for me. I wish that I could customize the experience more. Like, we just did a lot of stuff that I feel like I shouldn't have probably been able to run through and do as quickly as I just did. But we could because... Um, you know, it's on easy, which is great. I want the animals to be easy, but I wish that the resource requirements, like the food and water and just statuses in general, was harder. Oh, no, not another scorpion. Okay. Part of me kind of wants to just jump down there, because I know where this is. It would be really easy to get my stuff back. Like, I love the environmental struggle of a game. The survival struggle. The food, the water, the stuff. I don't like having to fight for my life in combat constantly. <laughs> so, like, I want easy mode for the predators, so that I'm not getting my face attacked by a bird every two seconds. But I want to have a harder time feeding myself. Yeah, I know. I see you there, sneaky snake. Uh, it's a dead end. Crap. Did I just run myself into a dead end? Oh, no. There's a cave down here. Or a path. Yeah, little lady, exactly. Like, keep the survival mechanics the same, but lower the, the risk. The, it, yes, exactly. Oh, no, another one. Where did this one come from? I didn't see that one at all. Okay, well, the good news is we're at the beach. And now that we're at the beach, it's pretty much a straight shot to home. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll turn left and run right past the fountain and miss it in my blind spot. You know, you're not wrong. Hopefully. Hopefully not. Yeah, I feel like a lot of gamers would want the opposite. More fighting, less tedious eating and drinking. That's why I love the games that give you such specific things that you can check. Right? Like, the really... You can get into the nitty-gritty of customizing each aspect of difficulty. I love that. Are you talking to your coworker about a game that you want to work on survival horror? You need to maintain light to literally fight back the darkness. Like in um Don't Starve. Kind of. Like darkness kills you. Fallout 4 survival mode. Fallout 4 survival mode with a mod to allow quick saves. <laughs> if that's a thing, I'm all for it. Oh, 
that's true. I just meant the darkness aspect. The bad things in the dark. Alright, I got a whole host of issues to tend to when we get home. <laughs> That's what you do, Lily? Okay. I need my quick saves. Especially if I, like, make dumb choices just for science. I need to be able to quick save and not only sleep to save. I'd probably be awful at it. I'd probably die repeatedly. Oh, no, I'm sunburned. Hey, JJ. Good to see you. Okay, we're a hot mess. We are poisoned. I've got the sniffles. I'm encumbered. I don't even know what this is. Wind chill. Oh yeah, I'm at risk of catching a runny nose. If I already have a flu, it will get worse. And I should try to avoid windy areas and stay by the fire. Minor poisoning. Sunburn. All right. <laughs> We're a hot mess, guys. We're a hot mess. Hey, Crepter, good to see you. I know, I feel like I'm a sim. That's pretty accurate, actually. <laughs> I focused on one very specific thing and ignored all of my other needs, and now I'm falling apart. Alright, there's the whale bones, so home is right there. We could probably build a base or home somewhere more central to the island than this grotto, but... There's already a fire here, so. You needed a mod to allow saving because the game would crash for you so often? Yeah. That would put me right over the edge on a game that you had to sleep. <laughs> right, we pushed ourselves for exploration, and now we have to come back and, like, recover. And I think I have the medicine... That I can take for the poisoning. We'll light the fire. What time is it? Like midday. We've got time on our hands. Oh, scorpion's back. Okay, the cave scorpion is back. One of them. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, let's do six hours of fire. And then what can I make? Make eggs. Oh, actually I actually have to, wait, what? What happened to my fire? Did it not work? Oh, did I actually not? Ignite the fire. There we go. There we go. Okay. Breadfruit. Baked cakes. Oh. Alright, so I've got the short eared dog. And eggs. Cook food. It's almost nighttime now. Um. Let's make a scorpion venom bandage thingy. Chamomile juice, I don't really need. Let's take the medicine. Uh, use the medicine. Can I repair this? Destroy? Did I get anything back for it? I don't think I did. Okay. Sure. Uh. Your sea truck exploded randomly in Subnautica last night? You lost all your loot and your prawn suit and hadn't saved in that entire session? Oh no. His noise does really need to change, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it's a little annoying. Um. Okay, I 
could just sleep. Let's look at our box. Uh, let's put our obsidian in the box. Oh, rotten food. Oh, it did go rotten. All right, well, we'll leave that there. Uh, let's put the clay pot in there, because I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Flint can go in there. That can go in there. Add the scorpion. Uh, put the bones in there, I guess. I'm still so heavy. Why? What weighs so much? Oh, 15 pounds and flexible branches. Even my container can't hold that much. I don't know if things despawn. Like, can I just drop it on the ground? Will it go away? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. We'll leave that there. We'll see if it stays there forever. <laughs> um. Alright, let's actually eat some of that stuff I just made. Eat our coconuts. Where is my eggs? Eat the eggs. Okay. And let's sleep. Okay, now we should be good, right? Let's see. Yep, we had a good night's sleep. So we're at natural recovery. We're still being treated for our poison. And we are full of energy because we slept in our bed. All right, we're, we're doing well. <laughs> we're doing well. Uh, let's take a look at what we can do now. There's a lot of things. Digging up clay and earthen fruits can be used as a weapon. Okay. Building hammer. I can make my own flint now. Durable fire starter. Okay. Primitive torch. I need a new spear. I need a new spear. So I gotta go get a long stick. And then... Oh, I can make the leaf hat now. Oh, I had a point. Oh, I have more than one point. Oh, man. Okay, so let's see. Concentration. Unlocks concentration mode. Available with the V hotkey. In this mode, special objects, weapons, ammo, and dropped bags are highlighted. I want that. Uh, let's see. Resist diseases, resist poisons, thirst and hunger control, better sleep, learning, alchemistry. Um, unlocks the buffalo potion recipe. Gain a 10% earned skill points bonus. Interesting. The leaf hat does look like poop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's see. Highlights animal remains and allows me to see the tracks of animals when I'm in concentration mode. I mean, honestly, I feel like this concentration mode one, I'm already in easy mode, so I'm pretty good about my, like, diseases and poisons and hunger and thirst and sleep and stuff. So the, the only other one would be learning skill bonus. But I think I might do the second concentration thing, because then I can find animal remains and animal tracks. I also wish I could unlock concentration mode in real life. <laughs> that would be so helpful. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So we've got all these skills. Skinning, throwing, we still need shooting. Strength is up, swimming, drying. I suffer from short-term memory loss. <laughs> Sailing, fishing, repairing, medicine, gathering. Okay. Make a palm juice collector. Make a fishing rod. Build four walls. Make a sleeping bag. Build a dock. Hopper saw. Leather backpack. Medical kit. Solar water distiller. Moonshine still. Build a dock on Copper Island. Okay, there is so much to craft. I need to get a handle on like what we need to be... Yeah, it's like, it's like Eagle Eye. Exactly. It's exactly like Eagle Eye. So like if we do it, it goes like 
Okay, let me try to do it like outside. There's nothing around. Okay, well, if there was something, it would highlight. <laughs> There's nothing here. That was a really bad time to uh, try to use it as an example, but... Okay, crafting. What do I need? What is the saw good for? Regular workbench. What do I need to make the workbench? Let's look at that. A large box would also be really good, because then I can hold 80... Improved storage box. Better preservation of food items. Oh. So a food storage box. Regular workbench. I need two long sticks, two rope, and small sticks. Okay, so we need to go find long sticks, and we need to go find rope. Which means that first I need to go out the other side of this cave. Now, the scorpion was back there, so theoretically the scorpions are back through the whole process. Uh, can I light my torch? Ooh, I can't. Okay. The durability on this thing is... Oh no, it's running at me! That's new! Whoa! Do they not like the fire? Because every other time I just kind of threw stuff at them. That one charged me. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, that one's running away at least. Yeah, they don't like the fire. Hello, stick. Where did it go now? And I like the fact that I can't see it's not good. Nope, there it is. I can't tell actually. That one looked like it might not have been charging me. It might have been trying to get away. I'm thinking skin rope will need the tanning thing for. Um, How do I extinguish this? There we go. Did we see how it let me put that back on my belt while it was still on fire? Because it let me put that back on my belt when it was still on fire. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Long sticks. The rope was over this way. Let's make myself a spear before I do anything else. Yeah, at least we can hit things with a torch. Otherwise, that would be a tragedy. Let's see if I can V-mode out here. Still no? Okay, well. Maybe that's not as helpful as I thought it was going to be. Um. Oh, it's not, uh, it's not grown back. What about this one? Here we go. This one I can do. Crafts. Let's make a spear. Could make a stone spear. Oh no, you need the workbench for that. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, let's put the spear on my hot bar. Okay, so here we are. And the Liana robe was up here. That way. Into the scary forest of death. We're gonna have to go past these boars. Kind of like cartographer tree, like up and around. It looks like. I'm thirsty. What's this? This plant looks interesting. Bird of paradise. Okay. It gives me these wide leaves, so it's worth it just for that. 
What are you? Mushroom tinder. Okay. Like fire tinder? Put up my spear. Having the broad leaves is going to be really, really good. That's what I need for the clothing. I need it for the bandages. What are you? Oh, you're just a plant. <laughs> you're just a background plant. Oh no! I've been attacked by a pest. During the long process, you were attacked by a pest. Uh, they live in certain areas where they can interrupt these processes. Okay. What attacked me? Oh, a scorpion. Great. Thank you. Where did he go? I don't know if this V thing is really helpful. Oh, they're little peccaries. I think you're a peccary, right? Are you mean? No, you're you're not mean. You're running away. My time in green hell told me that they were not going to be mean, but um, the boars are right there, so the boars are mean. The boar are very mean. Oh, what are you? What are these red flowers? Hibiscus. Okay. Do not do that. An animal's hunting me. Oh, what? Oh, the snake? The panic that I just felt, guys. The panic when it said an animal is hunting me. Okay, we're good. Oh man, the boar is like right there. I mean, according to the map, I don't actually see it, but. Uh oh, I heard something. This force is freaking me out, guys. Why do the forest noises have to be so freaky? Oh, I see you, scary squirrel. Squirrel dog creature thing. Alright, where am I? The rope's gotta be right here. Oh, is this? Uh, ooh, nine. You get nine pieces. 18 days for it to respawn, though. Um, can you harvest the snake? All you get from the snake is the, the rattle. Like, the tail. Rattle from the snake. Was that the only tree? It looked like it. Maybe over there? I don't know what these are good for. I didn't even look it up, but we're right here, so might as well. I don't see any others that have vines on them. Mahogany tree. What does that get me? Tree bark. Okay. Well. Uh oh, there's an animal hunting me again. Oh, snake. It definitely does set the mood. <laughs> uh, where's my torch? Oh no! You with scorpion? Failed to ignite. An animal's hunting me. Again. Stupid scorpion! Alright, now the scorpion's dead. You kicked a bear's butt today, Corruptor? Did you hit Mildred? I saw you were playing and I didn't have a chance to watch. 
Is Mildred safe? Where am I? Toadstool? Okay. Hey, Monty Lou, good to see you. Oh, no worries, Monty Lou. No worries. I'm glad that the streams can help you that way. <laughs> Depending on the game, sometimes you're on the bear side. It does depend on the game. It does depend on the game. My belt must be on fire right now. Because... Um... I'm like sliding away. In Red Dead Redemption, when you leave a horse in camp and then you get one on a quest, what happens to the horse in camp? So, as long as you have space, as long as you're not at four horses, then the horse in camp is still technically your saddled horse. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a boar, guys, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, no. Oh, it's charging me, too. So you'd still be able to go back and get your horse um, from camp or go to the stable to swap it up. But as long as you don't have too many horses, then the one that you originally had should be your saddled horse. Okay, the board didn't actually chase me down, so we're okay. Thank you, easy mode. Haven't ever been to a stable. I'm not 100% sure. I've never watched anyone else play the early game, so I've only had my experience. And my experience was just that as long as I... Oh, there's the boar. As long as I had the space, I could have more than one horse out at a time. And we'd be okay. I know, right? <laughs> I was watching some highlights of Brian's playthrough online in Red Dead Redemption and the stuff that was happening was ridiculous. The Tin Man armor. Okay, where am I right now? Oh, crap. I went full circle. I need to be, like, way over there. This way? Yeah, because home is, like, over here. It's weird that I can just tuck this fire torch onto my belt and I'm fine. What's this? Oh, tobacco. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, that's where our cave is. That's the cartography tree. What time is it? Middle of the night. You'd be able to tell, Corrupter, um, if the horse... The horse that you're on, um, like the little symbol, if Mildred's symbol is still in camp, then she's there. If not, you lost her. That's how I knew I lost Bob. When we lost Bob, I knew because his symbol disappeared. And I think if it's your main horse, it's white. And if it's like a secondary horse that you're just kind of borrowing, it's um gray on the map. I think. I did lose Bob, but way back in the beginning and we reloaded the whole game to get him back. So that was a fever dream. Losing Bob was a fever dream. It's not canon to the story because Bob is safe in our stable. But yeah, for a little bit of time, Bob was lost. <laughs> 
We had to do the whole Micah and Strawberry thing twice to get Bob back, and it was worth it. I need to make a water collector. I lost track, and I'm honestly not even 100% sure if I got the things that I needed. So, I guess we'll find out when I get back here. This place isn't the most convenient. It's a little bit out of the way. The cave bit's a bit annoying. But at the same time, I know where it is. If that makes sense. I know how to find it. Alright, we can put that out. Um, I am very thirsty, so... Let's drink this. Fun weekend plans? Um, I have my niece's birthday party to go to tomorrow. I also now have to fit in going to the car place because I have a flat tire that I discovered today. That was fun. Uh, so before the birthday party, hopefully, I'm going to be able to make it to the tire shop to fix my car. I discovered this after I'd already, like, agreed to get the kids McDonald's for dinner because no one felt like cooking. So then I had to drive the lovely, lovely is the word I was going to use monster giant truck that I love <laughs> all the way there it was terrible but they're happy how do I don't know the tires flat I tried to drive on it <laughs> I tried to drive and my tire was flat I may or may not have gone around the corner without noticing so hopefully my car is okay was not the best thing I've done recently Ooh, upgrade. Oh, you can upgrade it to a protected box? Oh, cool. You don't even have to, like, make a new one. You can upgrade the same piece. Interesting. Huh. Okay, but anyway, crafting. I was gonna make a workbench. I need rope, but I can make rope now. I can make lots of rope. can make three rope. <laughs> it's not the end of the world because if I can't get the car fixed tomorrow, I still just have to keep driving my husband's truck, which is okay. I just don't love it. Regular workbench. Okay, let's put that over here. Gotta put all our crafting stuff over here. Uh, place resources. Build. Alright, so now we can make saws. An obsidian saw, an obsidian axe. We need an obsidian axe blade to make that. Which takes one piece of obsidian. Oh, I can make that. I can make that. I don't know if that's the best use of my obsidian, but my iron axe is almost dead. Uh, let's see. Obsidian knife blade, bone knife blade. Cool. Okay, now I can make the obsidian axe. Except I can't because I don't have a handle for it. But when I do have a handle for it, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, that went from like totally great to like, no, never mind really quickly. Uh, stone spear. I could make the stone spear. I don't really need to right now. I need a big log for that. Um, a big branch to make the handle. But I don't know. I mean, we were up in the mountain when I found that. Upgrade to an improved workbench, a split log. Okay, so that brings me to my next point. The other crafting stations were a carpentry workbench, a common log, 
small sticks and a rope and a skin dryer, two rope and four long sticks. Dry animal hides. Okay. So I need all of those things. I gotta get a log. I know that's what I'm afraid of, Ricky, because I definitely drove out of the garage and around the corner after sending my... Uh, the, I'm not proud of this story, guys. I'm going to tell it anyway because I have no shame, but yet I am not proud of this story. I got in my car and I was like, what does this symbol mean on this little light? So I took a picture of it and I sent it to my husband and then I backed out of the garage and I left and I was all the way around the corner when he responded back, that's tire pressure. And I was like, oh... So I stopped and I hopped out and I was like, oh, yeah, look, my back tire is flat. And then I came home. But like, I couldn't feel that it was flat. I'm used to like flat tires. I've always had that like the thumping noise. And then you're like, oh, no, my tire is flat. It didn't make a noise. So I didn't realize. But yeah, anyway, I totally drove it around the corner and back. But not like super far. But, you know, I did drive on it. <laughs> so hopefully it's OK. <laughs> hey, good night, Eddie. Uh, but yes, anyway, my husband's doing much better. Yeah, he's, um, he's doing well. It's like the light sensitivity. He had his LASIK surgery for anyone that missed that. Um, he had LASIK surgery this morning, so he was sensitive to the light and a little bit sore uh, because of it, but already could tell the difference. He's really excited about it. I know. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not proud of it, guys. <laughs> not proud of it. Oh, yeah, Eddie, I hope your, your your new job goes well. Apparently, like, the neighborhood Facebook page was a bunch of people complaining about having, like, flat tires. They all picked up screws or nails or something. So I think that, like, somewhere in the main, like, hub of the neighborhood entrance was some type of issue. And uh, I happened to drive over it also. I want to see if there's anything in here. There's clearly not. It's definitely got a nail or something. It, it holds air. We were able to put air back into it because my husband can't just not do things. I'm like, you're not supposed to be doing anything. Take your little sunglass face and stop trying to put air in the tire. <laughs> anyway, um, he was able to put air back in the tire and it held for a bit. So I'm hoping we can like drive it fine to get it to the car place. Yeah, I think I need to chop a tree down instead of harvesting it. That's what I was just looking at. I don't want to use any of my good trees. Because that is an option. Cut down. Yeah, then we get two logs. You cut it down, it will not grow back. Oh, you can only carry one? Well, that's lame. And then I gotta go hunting for long sticks again. I don't have enough. Do we have discount tire out here? Uh, that doesn't sound familiar. We usually take it to Firestone. Firestone is the tire place. It's like around the corner. Ish. Oh, no, Wander, you worry. There's a neighborhood Facebook page for your neighborhood and you weren't invited. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> neighborhood Facebook pages are crazy drama. My neighborhood actually has two because at one point they got fed up with each other and split off into two completely different competing neighborhood groups. I'm a member of both. <laughs> oh. There should be a page dedicated to how lovely you are, Wander. Where's the other log? I don't want to lose it. 
Uh, there it is. I guess I could drop it on the sand, or at least it would stand out. I know, it is so Florida, isn't it? <laughs> it is so Florida. Oh yeah, the neighborhood Facebook page is where it's at. That's where all the drama gets hashed out. Where everyone complains about each other. I don't remember why the two groups split off from each other. My husband probably would. He like disappeared the other day and we were all like, where, where were you? And he was like, oh, I was at the neighbor's house. They were showing me something. I was like, what? A, you were talking to the neighbors and B, you like went to their house. Who are you? <laughs> I couldn't tell you any of my neighbor's names. I wave at them. I'm friendly from a distance. But, like, you'd never catch me dead. If they tried to talk to me, I would be awkwardly, like, trying to remove myself from that situation, not engage in further small talk. All right, we got to find another long stick. <laughs> That's your husband, too, Christy. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. You call 90% of your male neighbors Jim? Because Jay can't remember which one's actually Jim. <laughs> I don't talk to my neighbors. Uh, four regular sticks. My axe might be dead. I might have to make a stone axe in the meantime. You've talked to three people this year, Lily, and one of them's your mother. <laughs> I don't talk to anyone other than, like, I mean, like, school and doctor's appointments and stuff. Is this the one I harvested? Yeah. I think I walked by the two that I haven't harvested. Because I thought that they were the ones that I had harvested. These ones. Uh oh, that's steeper than I thought. Oof. It's okay, it was only one damage. Oh, this is still tree bark. Well, I haven't used tree bark yet, so I guess now's as good a time as any. But I need long branches. That's not a real tree. Are you a real tree? Nope. I also need some coconuts because I'm thirsty. Eucalyptus. What are those for? Eucalyptus leaves have been studied. Probably be paying more attention and not running willy-nilly, but that's tobacco. It's not a real tree. That's not a real tree. Where are the trees that are useful to me? I should start marking the one I harvested on my map. <laughs> I need long sticks. I mean, I could go all the way back around through the... Um... It's mahogany. Oh, look, there's ruins right there of some sort. I can go back around through the beach, 
over by the mountain there was some. <laughs> I'm going to give the trees a complex because I'm just telling them they're not real trees. Fair. Oh, that's too steep to climb. Really? You can't climb that? Now I can, kind of. Except I didn't grab any coconuts and I'm kind of thirsty, so mistakes have been made here. Some mistakes have been made. Mahogany. What are you? You're a big tree. A big useless tree. No offense. Okay. What is this? It's a fruit. Oh, scorpion attack. You son of a gun. Did I get any fruit from that? No. I wanted to know what it was. Okay, well, I should probably go home. Oh, I could see what's this way. There's something this way. Something interesting. <laughs> something interesting. I wonder, I need to look and see what it's for, really. Um, oh, bandage with red gum. Restores 15 health in two hours. Oh, okay. So it's just a better bandage. Hibiscus is good for flu. Tobacco is good for burns. Oh, I have tree bark now, so I can make the bow spindle. Coconut flask. Short handle, long handle. Need a big branch. Oop, these are the sticks that are going to poke me. Oh no, my tool's dead. Uh oh. Alright. Let's go home. We can come look at this again later. I didn't find any extra long sticks, but now my axe is dead. So I'm going to need a new box. I'm going to need to store that in case we can eventually repair it. Because I'm hoping we'll be able to repair things. That would be really nice. Are those bananas? They are bananas. And green bananas. What's the... Oh, I'm encumbered. What's the difference? I mean, I know what the difference is in general, but like... Best use for baking. Okay. Cool. Uh, yep, still really heavy. Do, do, do. How overweight am I? Three pounds? I don't need all this tree bark, huh? I should have stored the obsidian axe blade. Drop the monkey thing. <laughs> first I called it a monkey, now it's a squirrel. Or First it was a squirrel, then it was a monkey. Yeah, there's lots of cooking. Um, we don't have any of the cooking stations, so... I'm going to drop the green ones because I can't actually use them yet. I literally just need to drop, like, point one. Goodbye, stone. I need to go craft another box. Because my storage box is full. 
as well. That's a new cartography tree. Yeah, that's a different cartography tree. That is away from home. I need to go this way because I don't have a map tool. So I wouldn't be able to... um. Like, if I go to it and I climb it, I don't have the charcoal to map. So I gotta be careful about that. Otherwise, I'm wasting my time. Running willy-nilly through this forest is a terrible idea. I know, I need to get stronger. I need a cart. I need a cart that I can carry everything with me. Just run around with a little, like, wheelbarrow. I think that's actually a thing. I think that is actually a thing. 41 likes? Thank you guys. That is awesome of you. Where am I? Oh, that's the mountain up there. Uh-oh. Oh no, that's the pig that that's the pig that runs away from me. Okay, we're good. Like, squared off with that pig on the path accidentally. Where am I, though? I feel like I've come too far. Like, that... Mountain... Uh Where'd it go? I definitely took, like, six wrong turns. This is not where I'm supposed to be. I'm not where I'm meant to be. Oh yeah, no, hopefully not like the eco cart. That was terrible. Yeah, the cart in eco was terrible. I'm running willy nilly through the forest and I'm not watching where I'm going. I hear you, squirrel monkey dog thing. Where am I? <laughs> I was doing so good about not getting lost. Oh, I think that's the... I think that is the thing with the pieces we were putting on the wall. Which means I am, like, way the heck off track. It's fine. <laughs> well, then you are lost. We're so lost. And I remember this concentration skill being like really good. All right, well, it's showing us that there's a thing up there, but we can already see that because it's shiny. Can I get past this? Yep. Okay. All right, let's see what the stone is. I would love to have one of the squirrel monkey dog things as a pet. It's the stone head. Number 15. And from the day the Palace of Trials was built, the Golden Age began. It was the era of wise chieftains, brave sailors, ingenious healers, and skillful craftsmen. The best of them presented their deeds for the judgment of the Council of Four Tribes, and the Great Four were at the head of that council. The council chose the best of the best and called them the Honored Ones. The Honored Ones then sailed the Stormbreakers through the fog of the belts to pass through the Palace of Trials on Bimini. The worthy who passed all trials were named the Highest Ones... They drank the waters of fountain to prolong their years and took the water with them in special vessels to give to whomever they chose. Those who were granted such a gift were called the gifted ones. The faces of all the highest ones were carved in stone and the golden age lasted for many centuries. Oh, and those were the gifted ones that later got thrown off and died in the ocean. <laughs> it's all coming together. Uh, that is a path up the mountain. Which is cool, but definitely not where I'm trying to be. I just want to go home to my cave. Ooh, 
athleticism. I also need long sticks. I feel like sticks should not be such a rare resource when we're surrounded by this many trees. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, you can only get certain shapes of sticks out of certain types of trees, but still problematic. <laughs> That looks like a stick tree. These trees have some type of fruit on them. <laughs> You're power walking. Uh, Platonia. Where are you, stupid monkey dog squirrel? Oh, there you are. Ah! I was looking right at it. Why did the fact that it decided to charge actually scare me? An animal's hunting me. What's hunting me? Oh, the bird! <laughs> okay, we killed the bird. I don't care about the bird resources. Oh, maybe I'll take the feathers. I don't care about the body. <laughs> uh, where are you? I hear you, but I do not see you. I'm all bloody. There you are. No, nope, you're not a stick tree. You're not a stick tree. You're a bark tree. I don't need bark trees. What's that? That's the stone head. Is that the same stone head? The same one. Oh, have a good night, Lily Panda. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Uh, chickens. Oh, chickens means we're almost home. That's our mountain. That's our cave. Ish. That's our tree. It's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. We accomplished nothing. Like, I literally set out to get long sticks and I found all kinds of stuff, but no long sticks. So, you know, it, not the best. <laughs> hey, Erza, good to see you. I should look and see what I get for cutting some of them down instead of harvesting them. I wonder if I would get a stick for cutting it down instead. I'll have to look. Okay, keeping an eye out for scorpions. We would have been dead like three times over by now just in scorpion attacks if it wasn't for uh, that risk being reduced. Oh, I'm really thirsty. I gotta grab coconuts. But I'm too heavy for coconuts, so that's a problem. Alright, let's see. I need another box. Um, what's it take for a big box? Long sticks, I'm assuming. Yeah. Little sticks. Keep wanting to click. It's not click. Okay. Perfect. Um, so now we can store stuff. In the other box. Um, those away, all those away. All right, that box is full. Uh, so in this box, we will put my leaves, my sticks, my bark, 
Uh, the eucalyptus leaves. Let's see, what else? The wormies away. Oh, I want my cutter with me. Restore my axe, it's dead. So, I might as well store it. <laughs> hey Rose, good to see you! Hey, you phantom! Alright, let's see. Let's see... Uh, wait, I have two long sticks. How many long sticks did I need? Wait a minute. Guys, I had everything I need the whole time. Like, I have everything I need right here. What was I doing? <laughs> oh, I didn't have enough for the skin dryer. But I had enough for literally everything else. No tool selected. Oh, I need an axe. All right. I need an axe. Have I been hoarding again? Yeah. <laughs> I have been hoarding again. Oh, crap. I'm thirsty. Coconuts. Coconuts. What do I need to make one of the water thingies? Uh... Food dehydrator. Water distiller. Coconut rainwater collector. Okay, whatever it is, I don't have it unlocked. Oh, coconut flask. I need to make a coconut flask. And then I can make the coconut water thingy. Okay. Alright, that's not so bad. Uh, coconuts were over here. There were a ton of coconuts on this beach at one point. Hopefully they still are. <laughs> Rose, you took that the worst way possible. <laughs> Drying rack does sound better. Coconuts? What's on this tree? Date palms. Are those yummy? Oh, just food, not water. So, like, they're yummy, but not what I need. Okay, coconuts. Perfect. Uh, all right, we did it. Alrighty, we are no longer... dying of anything except i'm really tired <laughs> and it's only midday but i'm still really really tired so that's not ideal i found that random big branch on the mountain i don't know where i'd be able to find more Because that's what I need. I need a big branch so I can make an axe handle. So I can make my flint axe. Or obsidian axe. Oh, you foolish little monkey. Yeah, run away. Run away. I'll take it. <laughs> Asha, good to see you. Oh, sunburned skin. <laughs> Not great. Yeah, the hunting is definitely odd. The hunting is odd. To be fair, part of that is easy mode. Um, the last time I played this, they did not run away from you. Ever. Like, they would just jump at your face until you were dead. Um... So yeah, part of that is just that they're 
running, which is weird. But yeah, it is an awkward feel to it. Okay, I need to do my stone cutter. I'm gonna put my obsidian axe blade away. I need a stick. My things, my fire starter, get my clay pot. Take that out of there and put it in here. My long sticks away. Um not bad. You're never gonna use these potions. Uh actually, you know what? Let me put these shells away. They don't spoil. So theoretically, I can just leave them in here as long as I want and then just take them out and take the little mollusky thing out of them when I want to actually eat it. Same with the coconuts. I might as well store the coconuts in my chest instead of like in my hands. Would make sense. Make sense to me. All right, let's uh, let's sleep. It does need a sort all button. Yes, it does. My science stick did not despawn. It is still there. The stick remains. I think I just slept until nighttime. I did. All right, let's sleep until morning. Okay, it's morning. We uh, accomplished so much more this time. I got actually able to do a full length stream. Um, this was a much better look at the game. This is what I was looking forward to the other day. And I am so glad that I was able to shift around to get it in. Um, I like this game a lot. I think that there's more to it. We haven't even scratched the surface of trying to get off of this island yet. Um, but these type of environment survival games, I wish that the conditions could be a little bit harder, but these are my favorite. Like the green hells, the stranded deeps, the rafts where it's not like monsters hunting you. It's just surviving the environments are my favorite. So I'm really looking forward to getting further in this one. I'd love to get to the point where I can build that boat and see if we can get off of this island. Uh, but there's still, we're not even a little bit through the lore of just this island. There's a ton more we have to find. Um, so yeah, I'll be definitely back to it. Um, not sure when. <laughs> the best place to keep up with that is going to be on my, um, is on my Discord. Multiplayer with chat when. This is a single player game. If they make it multiplayer, I'm actually kind of surprised it's not. Most of these kind of survival-y games are multiplayer, but this one, so far is not. I haven't looked into if they're going to make it multiplayer in the future. I haven't checked at all. Um, but it would be interesting. I think it would do well with it. Most survival games do. Anyway, I'll be going in tomorrow to update my schedule for next week. Um, so that is going to be where you'll find it on Discord if you're curious what I've got coming up. There's lots more new stuff coming up soon. So much to fit in. <laughs> so, so much to fit in. Um, but then, of course, the... Um, Streams do get put onto YouTube the day of, so if you enjoyed tonight's stream and you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. And until then, have a good one, everybody.